Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Tony, a psychotherapist in the state of Pennsylvania, as well as a speaker, an author, a success strategist, and mentor for parenting professionals globally. And today I want to talk with you a bit about brain spotting. Brain spotting is an advanced neurophysiological technique, approach, which really is just a fancy way of saying that it's a brain and body based tool. And it can be used to deeply process trauma and challenges within the therapeutic setting, or it can be used to help break through mental blocks um, and to enhance performance in the coaching setting as well. So it can be used in different ways. Now, brain spotting, it can be applied not as just this standalone method, rather brain spotting can be used with other theoretical models, methods, and approaches as well. So it's a very complementary approach to working with the whole person. Okay, that kind of gives an idea, right, of what brain spotting is, but what is it really? Like when we talk about brain spotting, what does that mean? What does it mean, right? Like what does it look like? Well, the easiest way for me to describe brain spotting is to break it down into a few pieces, okay? So brain spotting uses the visual, it uses the visual field, which is where you're looking with your eyes, all right? The emotions, which is how you're feeling in any given moment, and the body, which are the sensations that you're noticing through mindful awareness of your own physical self, all right? And it uses those pieces within the context of a safe and supportive relationship, which would mean um, you with a professional, uh, be that an attuned therapist or an attuned coach, whomever you're working with. Okay. So we're using the eyes where you're looking, the emotions, how you're feeling and the body, what your physical sensations are that you're noticing within the context of a safe and supportive relationship with an attuned professional, be it a therapist um, or coach, both of whom have to be trained in brain spotting in order to use it with you. Okay. And we use all those pieces in order to access the parts of the brain that aren't accessed through talking alone. Okay. So it goes into the deep, sub, deeper subcortical areas of the brain to be able to unlock and to move to shift some of those pieces in there that need to heal. All right. To help the brain, to help the body heal itself. We start to set the conditions of that using this brain spotting approach and how that might look in a session is the person you're working with, the professional, myself, for example, will help you to identify the topic that we're going to be talking about and then to find, to actually track a specific spot in your visual field with your eyes where you're noticing intensified or different or just a noticeable, okay, um, emotional reactions and or physical reactions that you're having while you look there. All right. Now, brain spotting operates on two core underlying principles. One, where you look affects how you feel. And two, the brain and the body are the real healing experts, not any person, place, or thing that is outside of you. Okay, so I am not your healing expert. I am facilitating a relationship, a connection with your internal pieces of your brain and your body. They are the healing experts, okay? That's what's really doing the healing within you, all right? Now, what makes brain spotting work? I'm not gonna go into a really deep, complex, complicated description here. Let's just keep it simple. In utero, the eyes start their development embedded within your brain, okay? And eventually they grow outward from your developing brain, but they maintain an important and integral connection to the brain itself. So the brain-eye connection is a very intimate one and their development is thought to coincide with one another and research continues to explore their connection in this area as well as other areas. And so the development of the brain, uh, the, your brain and your eyes is very intricately connected, okay? So needless to say, their connection is complex, all right? But communication is passed from one another and that matters. As you think, as you move, as you breathe and have experiences throughout your day, throughout your life, 
your eyes are taking in stimuli and your brain is electrochemically firing off billions of neuronal connections at any given moment. So there's a lot happening, all right? There's a lot of interconnectivity, a lot of communication happening with your brain, your body, and your eyes, right? Because meanwhile, while all of this experience is happening, all this communication is happening with your brain and your eyes, your body is also sending and receiving information from your brain as well as stimuli, stimuli as well as sensory information from the environment outside of you. Okay, so there's an intricate interplay that's happening amidst your brain, your body, and eyes, which ultimately impacts how you're thinking and feeling. Now, brain spotting understands that this special relationship between the various parts of you matters and takes an integral role in healing, in self-optimization, okay? It has an impact on what is stored in the brain and the body over time, all of these experiences, all of these connections within yourself, okay? It's going to also then matter. It's going to be relevant to what you're experiencing now and to what's interfering with your present functioning and the way that you actually want to function or the way you actually want to feel or the way you actually want to do or be the reason why you're working with a professional in the first place, your brain, your body, and your eyes are all connected and they play a role in that. Okay. So in order to use brain spotting professionally, a qualified professional must undergo extensive trainings um, of various phases and they need to um, be able to work with a supervisor if they want to become certified. Okay. And as they work with that supervisor, they also must have had a specified time period of executing brain spotting techniques in real life with real life experience with clients and pass an examination with their supervisor after they've done all that. Okay. So I am a certified brain spotting practitioner. And although coaching and therapy are not the same, Okay, I am able to customize the use of brain spotting in a variety of ways in order to support my clients, be it in a therapeutic setting or in a coaching setting. They just are played out differently. Okay, so if you would like to explore brain spotting through working with me, I do invite you to go ahead and fill out the application to discuss working together and indicate that you're interested in exploring brain spotting. If you're unsure though, whether or not brain spotting is for you or it's something that you might want to try out. That's okay. Honestly, most people are unsure if they haven't heard of brain spotting before, or if they haven't utilized brain spotting before that makes total sense. In fact, I was even apprehensive when I initially started using brain spotting because it was unfamiliar to me. And as the years pressed on and I gained experience in working with it, with myself and my clients, I can tell you it is so powerful. It's a wonderful approach to use as a complementary tool with other pieces of work that I do with my clients, okay? So I'll share about brain spotting with any clients that I believe that it could be beneficial for as I'm working with them. So if you're unsure about whether or not it's a fit for you, that's okay. We can figure that out together.